All right. In the previous step, we learned how we can use if now conditions in C sharp unit. Okay. In this step, we want to talk about another uh, you know tools for implementation an if or a condition. Okay. Imagine we have public int score equal to and inside the void update we have if a score is equal to 3 but, you know print best score a score equals to good score and a score equals 1 try more okay imagine for different uh, conditions we need to uh, you know define a specific if for each one okay let's test here Look at this, we have good score, and here let's see 3, and we have best score, and 1, we have try more, okay? But writing several ifs is not a good idea, okay? Let's use another tool for implementation a condition, especially different kind of conditions, you know, uh, which called switch okay in the switch we will say okay which parameter we want to check we say score and inside the bracket look at this here we have case 3 okay and here we will say if the case is equal 3 let's do something what is the thing is just print uh, no sorry uh, best score okay and now break okay and uh, another case uh, for another you know, uh, if if the case is equal to print uh, good score and break and the case is equal one print uh, try more break in fact these are equals uh, you know with those ifs but the important thing is if the case is equal 3 it breaks here and it doesn't compile all of these other lines so it is really good for you know performance and also for implementation inside c sharp because you will save the lines as well look at this it is smaller than the previous one and now let's go to the testing in unity Okay, that's it, and one, and three, oh sorry, three, look at this, it is a good uh, result if we write another number, for example number five, no one changed, this is it, okay, this is a simple use case of the switch in C-sharp Unity. Let's go to the next step.